Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Today, we are gonna have a look at Sparky Linux. I think I've looked at Sparky one or two more uh, times in the past. Uh, there is a new release, which I believe is 5.9, just come out. So Sparky Linux is based on Debian, and you can get a Debian stable, or you can get a Debian um, uh, unstable, Debian testing. So you have those options, and Kind of the way you look at Sparky Linux, it's kind of almost like a Debian Arch type thing where you just kind of start with the bare basics and then you build up what you have. Of course, they have some lightweight desktops that are already ready to go, such as um, LXQT uh, and they have uh, XFCE as well. They have some ARM builds, basic CLI builds, open box builds, just all sorts of things. So let's first go ahead and uh, have a look at their website. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, by the way, um, the Amish, when they do need to use computers, actually use Sparky, believe it or not. Um, there's actually a documentary um, where they looked at some of the technologies and things, um, tech-free zones, stuff like that, and they would follow this Amish businessman who had to have a little bit of a computer stuff going on, and uh, he goes into his office, lights a lantern, and then turns on a computer, and it's Sparky Linux. <laughs> so pretty epic, pretty epic indeed. Uh, but anyway, Sparky is based on Debian here, and uh, you have the option to either do, as I said, the stable or the testing Debian editions. This one is Sparky 5.9, Nibiru, I think. I don't probably pronounce that one incorrectly. And uh, this is a quarterly update. So this is already based on Buster. They've already released a Sparky based on Buster. This is just the quarterly update, which will have all those things. And uh, you can read about the project. So it's uh, lightweight. They have a variety of different things. This thing supports over 20 different desktop environments and uh, window managers together. So you can really turn it into anything you want. So you can kind of start with your with your basics there. I got cat here going all over the place. My apologies. I, of course, I have this giant fuzzy snake right in front of my face. So anyway, we'll uh, get through this as best we can. All right, so uh, we have uh, a few other system tools, but I find that there's not a lot that comes with Sparky. So it's basically just a minimal Debian installation plus a desktop environment and not a whole lot else. So I'm not going to say this is necessarily one for a more advanced user, but if you're, um, I'm sorry, it's not a, a basic user one, but if you're a more advanced user, then definitely you're going to get a lot out of this distro. It is good. It's just you have to consider who your audience would happen to be. So what we're going to do here is I have a virtual machine um, to start up, and then we will go over and have a look at that. Now, some of the things that uh, the installation actually annoyed me to no end, because on the installation, they are forcing you to use what they consider is a good password. It took me a long time to find something I could actually put in here, and it was highly frustrating. You know, if I wanted to install this just as a simple testing environment or you know, some other thing, the installer should not limit what I use as a password. And then, I mean, I was entering literally long amounts of strings of things that I thought would be easy to remember for a, uh, for a sample testing machine on my, my main secure operating system here, and it just will not let me. So that is a huge negative for me. If I want to be a doofus and do not uh, secure my system properly, that's up to me. But don't sit here and tell me what I can or cannot use as the password inside my installation. The only other time I've seen that before is with Ubuntu where in the GUI of Ubuntu, if you're trying to change your password from the GUI in Ubuntu, it will not let you use an easy password. You can still do it both in Ubuntu and in this through the terminal. All right, so here we are booted into the system. And uh, the first thing, of course, we don't have full screen, but let's go up and there we are. Oh, there somewhere. All right, never mind. Let's just go ahead and just type it. I'm just going to full screen us here so we can see it better. I was just hoping to grab the um, things there. But, dude, all right. It's really hard to type with a cat on my hand. <laughs> all right. So here we are. Um, running HTOP here, we are running at 352 megabytes. So that is how lightweight the system is. So if you're looking for a good lightweight system, uh, this is it. Uh, this really is, uh, really is it. So... 
um, you can go ahead and uh, install your system and do that. So like I said, you get really nothing but a basic Debian with whatever desktop environment that you have chosen. We'll go back and look at the download page here when we are done here. Um, but uh, what we're gonna look at here is, as you can see, it's just a basic XSCE desktop environment. If I go into the system tools, there's not a whole lot here that is custom. In fact, um, not using XFCE a lot, I'm not seeing anything that is custom to Sparky here. I think there's gotta be something, I just can't remember what exactly it is. All right, but uh, what you see here is we have, now this is the build that I downloaded, I specifically downloaded the one which is has all your basic software installed. There are ones that contain even less information. Uh, so here is everything inside the settings, our basic settings manager. And there's really nothing here. There's some basic, here's the about system. I had to install um, HTOP. They do have a task manager. I was looking for the task manager. I could not find it. Um, that's why I installed HTOP before we uh, got going. We do have a system upgrade tool. So that is something that is, that is specific. So this guy here, what this is gonna do is it's going to check for any system updates and I'm not sure it's gonna be able to do anything else. So it says, all right, system's up to date, no problem. So it kind of has more like, a, like I said, just a basic arch feel. Doesn't have much to it. There's no uh, package installer there other than Synaptic. Of course, we have apt in the terminal. Now, the power of it, though, is that it will get you a super lightweight system that will allow you to do pretty much anything. So if you want to install Cinnamon, you got it. You want to install GNOME, you got it. You know, you want to run with basic OpenBox, well, you can just download it with OpenBox. Other than that, uh, Sparky Linux, it's super lightweight, not a whole lot else to it, just a little bit of... Uh, uh, just a little bit of software if you pick the software one and then just pure Debian with a pure desktop environment. There is nothing special or super amazing there, which is in its own way a good thing. So suppose you want to try this out. You want to just head on over to the website and uh, just hit the download link. And here you have the option to go into the stable, which is your basic Debian 10 or your semi rolling, which is your Debian testing. So if we click into here, we have 32-bit and 64-bit images. So here's the 5.9 LXQT, 5.9 XFCE, 5.9 Minimal GUI, 5.9 Minimal CLI, and they have an ARM open box and a CLI text mode. So that is what we have here. It is a super lightweight system. There's nothing so you know, major special out of the way. It's just nothing but a Debian with the easy ability to pick the one you want to start with and then customize yourself up a computer from there. So yeah, not much else to say about it. Uh, would I use this? Absolutely. I would use this. Uh, this would be a great system to install on a little CD key, a little USB drive to have uh, carrying around. I have installation instructions on how to do that. The installer will allow you to install it encrypted, so you have that option as well. And then uh, you could carry it around and have your own full encrypted operating system on a little thumb drive with you to use for any computer that you encounter. So is it a basic uh, new Linux user distribution? I would probably say no. There's, it's gonna be a lot harder to manage, a lot harder to work with. It's gonna be if you wanna learn, definitely it's a great place to learn. But if you want to actually get in here and have a system that you're gonna work with and have all of the GUI tools that you get inside of a Mint or an Ubuntu or you know an MX Linux, things like that, you're gonna find a little bit more challenges with that. So definitely you wanna make sure that you're using this if you already have a little bit of Linux experience. But if you do and you're looking for a good lightweight distro to throw in a CD key or something for a lower end computer or just something that's super minimal gets out of your way based on Debian, this is the distro to go with. So let me know your thoughts about Sparky in the comments down below.